So we hear the Embed uh, booth. So who are you? Hi, my name is B. Hayes Takor, and I'm the director of marketing for the Embed um, the IoT device platform. So, uh, Embed, a lot of stuff is happening with Embed right now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Lots of partners around here. So, here we are at Arm Tech Con at the Embed Zone, and uh, we've got 23 partners displaying Embed technology and products. Um, there's lots of demos here. And we brought some very exciting announcements uh, to Arm TechCon. So if you're interested, you can always check out all the coverage that is happening, particularly on this channel as well as um, on the Arm Connected community and embed.com. So you have Embed 3.0? We do. So um, Embed OS Technology Preview is our latest release of Embed OS. And uh, we've just announced it. It is publicly available on embed.com. And alongside Embed OS, we have um, the Embed Device Connector. And this is a free service to developers, and it's available on connector.embed.com. Uh, it allows you to start connecting uh, so here it says, about 100 uh, devices and um, manage them. So essentially, you build an IoT device, you get onto the console at connector.embed.com, you uh, connect all your devices, there's example code available for you to build your application and makes it really easy for you to then connect to cloud applications or cloud solutions. So we have Yongbyong here and uh, hey. Yongbyong, can you give us a quick uh, um, tour yeah. of what's happening? Yes. Oh yeah, so I, what I do you do? Some uh, I'm the product lead of the device connector and device server. So you, you're making a system for IoT to connect to the cloud and do yeah. what? What does it do? That's what it does. It and we enable so that we, um, many other cloud application developers can create some meaningful applications using their data so what IoT devices are generating. Yes. So does IoT use a lot of data on the cloud or connect or what does it do? So the idea is to take all the sensor data from the devices that you have in the field to be able to then help cloud developers to develop applications, drive big, an, uh, big data analytics, and Embed OS enables, of course, all of this. This is a free service to developers that allows you to then take your um, IoT device and really scale it up. So we have a, a demo here that we'd like to show you. All right. Yep. So how does it work, the demo? Yeah, so what we have is here, we have cases for F device, and we are running Embed OS, Embed TLS, Embed Client on top of it to be able to connect to the device connector. And this hardware is connected to the, this light bulb here. So there's a, there's a box? Oh yeah, we, we have a, just made a nice looking box yeah. so that it covers. And with the light? Yep, yeah, it's connected to the light bulb, yeah. So then this is connected to device connector and we have a simple web application. We are running in the AWS, but the, it's very simple. So you can yeah. see the light is, light is on at the moment. Okay. So you can simply like click, and it turns off. And it responds nice. to the event off. I'll return it off. So how much data is needed to do that? There's a small little command that goes out to oh, the yeah. cloud? Oh yeah, very little, little command. Small it's command and it's secure? Oh yes. Absolutely. That's one of the new things you're talking so exactly. about too, right? Exactly. Um, Embed OS is actually more than just the OS. It's, it's these types of developer tools as well as the security foundation and the interoperability connectivity. So what you're seeing here, this device uses um, the K64F, which is a board. Um, it's an embed enabled board and you can find it on embed.com. It uses embed OS, embed TLS, which is our secure um, uh, stack and, and uh, security solution around the communication stack. It uses embed client, embed device connector and one of our cloud partners. So. And uh, provisioning, what does that mean? Uh, the stuff about provisioning, you, you have lots of different demos around here. We have quite a few different Let's demos. Go this way. And yeah. oh, I'm sorry. Um, what what you saw over there is actually uh, a small app that we have that does provisioning because uh, IoT is full of devices that don't have a screen um, or just devices that um, yeah. we're going to. In fact, I'd like to show you yeah. the the six low pan design. All right. So one of the other things we've brought to uh, uh, Zone to this year is actually our smart city reference design and it's an early stage reference design that offers 6 low pans of gigahertz technology. These are the and sensor data and go to sleep. These so, yeah. the yeah. is actually quite busy right now. Yeah. But I, I That's okay. 
Um, so what it allows is, uh, you can imagine, um, lots of smart city applications require um, connectivity both in terms of IPv4, industrial applications might require several other uh, connectivity solutions, and... Uh, so, have... so how does it work here? This, this, are you showing this? So we're here showing how you can send information from yeah. the... Yes. Showing how you can send information from a 6 open mesh network that is running a bit OS. So this um, 6 open device is sending data using software cards, 6 open technology through the internet using an access point. So as you can see here, we are sending data to, to, to the app. The app can uh, receive the data using the existing IPv4 infrastructure. So we are showing here that we can use a tunnel to convert packets from IPv6 network to IPv4. They can see that running as a Roku app here. So this is an application that was written in Node.js that is talking to device server. So is 6LoPan going to be a big part of IoT in the future? Well, we think there are several uh, uh, businesses that require applications that um, are very low energy, and I think low pan is something that uh, we have low range, well. low range, and uh, low energy, right? Absolutely. All right, let's go around a little bit more. Let's see some of the stuff that you have here. Um, so we've got quite a few partners uh, currently uh, bringing some products that are all um, built on Embed. And uh, we've got some like, interesting applications. Uh, so we've got Amit Shah here. Who, Hello. Uh, hey. He's from Alcatel Lucent. And Amit, can you give us a quick two, mi two minutes uh, overview of the sure. demo we have today? Sure, sure. So what we do is we, prom we test and validate your implementation for lightweight M2M -M protocol. You know, we believe that our job is to remove all barriers to entry for the marketplace so that you know more and more devices go into the market and we realize the true potential of Internet of Things. We hear about billions and billions of devices, but we don't see that happening if we don't remove barriers to entry. And one of the barriers to entry is to make sure that your device which you created follows and adheres to a standard. And what we do is we offer a pro-validation program which allows you to test your implementation of lightweight m, -M protocol completely free of charge. So you as a developer, you as an OEM, you as an embedded device maker, you as a module maker, you can come, come onto our website, register yourself, go and run your test, and, it's, and we validate the protocol implementation for you. So you have a website, the people sign up, uh, they click, and... Uh, and yep. uh, uh, what are you showing here? You say that you have uh, lots of customers already, or sure. So one of the, so we have today, uh, not a single device can go on to AT and T's network or Verizon's network without it having been certified through our program. And the reason for this is that the network providers need to be very careful that they don't have any rogue devices on the network. They don't have any devices which is going to take up a lot of bandwidth or do something bad to the network. So they trust us to provide that level of validation, to provide that level of certainty that the device or the thing or the machine has been tested through a protocol validation system. And we provide that to anybody who's building a, a device or a machine or a thing which uses lightweight MTM protocol. For free? Absolutely free. But uh, is there a limit or something? Like how there many is, projects you want to test and everything? No, there is, there is absolutely no limit. As you as a de the goal is to make sure that we catch the mistake very early on in the cycle. The, the longer you, the longer it takes to catch the mistakes, more imp mistake and more and more expensive it gets to bring that thing back. You need to have truck rolls, you need to send the tr devices out there. Keep in mind, for Internet of Things, the devices might be sitting remotely on an oil rig or on a, you know, somewhere on the power grid, miles from anywhere. If you have tested it properly, you can always do a remote reset, remote reboot. You can update the software on, over the air without having to spend expensive dollars or pounds or euros driving to that remote machine and updating it. So do you have big machines to test hardware? What do you, no, it's, what's going to happen? Completely hosted. Does people ship you the device? Not at all. It's completely hosted on the cloud. You know, you have a portal. You sign up on the portal. When you sign up, it gives you a URL. You put that in your machine, and then you connect your machine to that URL. And there is very simple UI with just few buttons. We click on each button. It executes mandated and recommended test cases by the OMA standard, and that allows you to validate an implementation. 
Cool. So it's ready. It's, it's ready. It's ready to roll. Thank right. you. So as you can see, there are several examples of how our partners are actively involved in making um, IoT deployment at scale really easy, and that's what the whole game uh, is that uh, around IoT for for Embed. So it's so exciting thank you time very right now. Much. Very exciting, and um, this, you can see the sort of spectrum of different solutions that are available. So.